You know, I think anybody who's listening right now, if you want to set yourself up for success, ask yourself how much risk you've taken in the first 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 years of your life. When I started talking about business on Twitter, every single comment in 2009 was, shut your mouth, wine boy, stay in your lane. I'm telling you right now, you want to talk about why so many of you aren't exactly where you want to be? Look deep inside yourself on what your expectations of others are. Ask yourself how much you've been succumbing to peer pressure. Like if you've always wanted to be cool to the popular kids in your high school, you're in trouble. The amount of people in here that have a job they hate and they buy things they don't care about to impress people they don't give a fuck about scares the shit out of me. Most people spend money on dumb things which then forces them to do things they don't want. Long before I became the wine guy on YouTube and Twitter, I was a businessman. And I think if it's your truth, there's a very big difference between being an entrepreneur and a successful entrepreneur. I can say that I'm a football player. Doesn't mean I'm gonna get paid to do it. And so I think the truth, I I think it's unbelievably uh, exciting for me. It feels warm in my heart that the thing that I've seen consistently analyzing this every second of my breathing day for the last decade has been whatever your truth may be, as long as it is actually your truth, you will always over-index. And people told me to not curse on stage, you know, my agents who booked like, stop cursing on stage because we're losing so much money. I'm like, I can't. I have to be me and wherever the chips fall. And I think for everybody, A, it's fun because it's easier. And B, audiences, audiences are smart, to your point. You can smell when that person wants to put their agenda through. And so I think the truth, which is a very exciting answer to this question, The truth is undefeated. My friends, accountability, giving with no expectation in return, playing the long game. Every single person's business or ambition will grow exponentially tomorrow if they spend the next 13 years giving away free content forever. Seems super non-natural. When do you monetize? How do you do this? The person that holds the breath the longest wins. Being efficient, executing, shooting for those big goals is predicated on your actions. Do you take a extra long lunch from jury duty to say, you know what, cool, I'm gonna chill and watch YouTube videos? Or do you hustle your face off and try to cram as much in? So many of you that actually want this, have the skills to do this, right? And sometimes once in a while, just need to see a different version of it to understand, ah, right, ah. To me, this is an ah video, right? Did you mail it in? Did you mail in that 15 minute, 15 minute call got canceled. You had a packed day, 15 hour day. It got canceled. What are you doing in that 15 minutes? And by the way, sometimes those 15 minutes are absolutely worth calling your mom, calling your daughter, FaceTime with your kids, but it's just making every minute count. Every minute has to count. Every minute has to count if you want so much because You just don't have as many of them as you think. You just don't. Do you know yourself? Or do you aspire to be something you might actually not be? You have the dream, but you have to execute. And it's just gonna take you time. Because either at 15 you're gonna make it up and try to front, which is your vulnerability, or you'll just put in the work, put in the work, put in the work, and that's it. Like, it's just a process, man. Life is long. Like, you know, like, just put out the work, put out the work. We are just completely in this incredible place of unlimited options. I I just struggle with people's inability to have perspective on where they sit in opportunity in a 7.7 billion person world. The quickest and easiest way to get to do what you want while paying your bills is to start sacrificing leisure and other things and start focusing on monetizing the thing that you want to do in the future. I used to drag through school. By the time I got to 3.30, I was like dead because I hated it. So you can't put in the hours unless you love it. You, that's why I believe loving it leads to the most success because I think somebody else loves what you don't love, Mm -hmm. that you're doing for money, thus they'll be more successful because they're gonna do it for 19 hours. Now there's talent, 
Yes. You may not love singing and you open up your mouth and you sound like Whitney Houston. That's real. You may not love, ba- there's athletes, absolutely, I know them, who are not passionate about their sport, but they were born six foot ten hmm. and very coordinated. So it happens, it happens, but I think that's the rarity. I am remarkably stunned by the lack of accountability in our society. Everything wrong at VaynerMedia, anything that ever happens, any piece of content, anything that ever happens in my life, 100% is my fault. And let me tell you what happens with accountability. You get real happy. When you feel that there's no other source controlling your sh** all of a sudden it gets happier. Your ego and your insecurity doesn't want to take the L. You don't want to admit that you f***ed up. Because for some reason, so many of you are living your lives based on other people's opinions, and that is crippling you. The way to really eliminate fear is by not giving a f*** about anybody's opinion. My losses are mine. I'll deal with them myself. I don't need your two cents. You're losing plenty on your own. Patience and inner voice makes you unbeatable. Your rank amongst the 7.7 billion people in the world when it comes to opportunity is ridiculous. (laughs) To have a special life, you have to do special things. And that usually means putting in the work and loving it. You take your advantages. Some advantages are experience. Some advantages are youth. You have to deploy patience. It's not going to happen overnight. Right, that's what I learned from you. You I put out content for eight and a half years before anybody gave it. I have to dream. Please factor in what the world's going to be like in 2019 to 2025 versus looking at what the world was like 2009 to 2015. Way too many decisions by way too many people are being made in the, by factoring in the past without anticipating the future. Forget about Benzes and shoes and homes and planes. The ROI of life is not money, it's being happy. And when I look at the people that I see that are happy, regardless of their income levels or success or fame or notoriety or money, so much of that is completely predicated on the fact that either their parenting or circumstance help them have actual perspective to what the hell is going on here. Do you know what I wish for all of you 25 year olds in here? That you knew how young you feel at 40. News alert, you're gonna kind of feel exactly the same. I don't think there's anything wrong with chasing money. I just think that it's usually the quickest way not to get it. It's, I, it's crazy how I feel my whole life. Never had peer pressure, never did anything, anything, ever, ever, that I didn't want to do because I just didn't value somebody else's opinion over mine. And that comes from good parenting, circumstance, DNA, a million things. I don't know how to teach that. What I'm just trying to do is I'm trying to become, in a weird way, I like being popular because I become your courage. I think the most flattering thing that's happening to me in my life is I'm becoming people's courage Because when they take risk and they take ridicule, they point to me. And then I tell their parents to go themselves. It makes the most sense in the world to go high risk in your youth. Because you can live at your parents' house, you two and 19 people watching can live in a studio 21 deep. I know it, I lived it, I saw it, I watched it. Like, this is exactly when you guys are supposed to take Two core leaps of faith. Either go and do it for yourself or get close to something that you believe in completely. If you let somebody else's opinion, whether your spouse, your boss, your mom, your aunt, your best friend, if you genuinely, genuinely are living your only life, which oh by the way, by modern scientific terminology is 400 trillion to one. If you even could comprehend how ridiculous it is that we are even alive, like do you understand how ludicrous it is that you have a life? This phone is more powerful technology-wise than the computers that Ronald Reagan had to run the free world. 
This thing, while you lay in bed from 7 p.m. to 2 in the morning, is your gateway to get out of the thing that you complain about, yet we'd rather watch entire seasons of Friends again on Netflix. (laughs) The one thing that connects everyone here, regardless of you're winning, you're losing, company, employee, entrepreneur, the one thing from coast to coast that connects every person here is the one asset that we should all be chasing is attention. Before you achieve anything, whatever the hell you came here for, when you go and output to try to create your business, run for mayor, raise money for a nonprofit, no matter what you do, no matter what you try to accomplish when you leave this conference, the one thing that you should be chasing is people's attention. Before you can accomplish selling a sneaker or a cookie or a t-shirt or insurance or whatever you do, you need somebody's attention to tell them. Then your message has to be on point enough to commit them into doing what you'd like. Attention, my friends, is the asset. Nothing else is important to me besides attention. The reason I've always adapted to new content and new platforms, the internet itself, email, YouTube, Google AdWords, Facebook, Twitter, podcasting, all of it. The reason I've always done well with that is my religion above anything else is where is the attention today and potentially tomorrow, not what worked yesterday. There's nothing mathematically in life that can happen that is more ridiculous than the fact that you got one. You're more likely to get struck by lightning 14 times than have a life. Forward, forward, forward. Mindset, all of that leads to one thing. If you do not become a practitioner of how to communicate on the social networks of today, you are 100% irrelevant. Don't like it? Tough. Figure it out, execute it. My friends, negativity can lead at halftime. Kindness always wins the game. Your life is predicated on when you get real quiet and you can't hear another person's two cents. The reason I can work 17 hours a day is because I'm not spending 15 hours a day dwelling or looking back. Faking it to make it is the great flaw of this generation. Please don't do it. Please stop listening to anybody but yourself. Please eliminate negativity from your life because if you want to really win, it is absolutely by reinforcing positivity. So get real quiet in here, get real selective about who you're spending time with, and most of all, speak the truth. Do the right thing. Kindness is cool. Truth is cool. Don't act like you've made it. Talk about the journey of trying to make it.